Okay, big dog, we're finna start, okay? Yeah. Okay, in three, two, one. What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And it's a lot of stuff been going on this last year in the drill culture. A lot of things. And I felt like this was the time to get some of that OG energy in here. So for all the people who don't know what's going on, yeah, let them know exactly what your name is and where you're from, legend. Man, Big Boss Bo Deal, Chicago, Illinois. North side, west side representative. Most definitely. Yes, I see you got somebody in here with you, too. What's your name, big guy? DTL True. Most oh, definitely. I'm rocking with you too, Trigger. I want sure, you to know man. that. Um, how it been last time since we talked, bro? Everything been good. Just working, grinding, you know what I'm saying? Doing what I do, man. Uh, just trying to build a strong team around me of, of hungry artists that really want it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't looking for no handouts that's really out there trying to get to it. So right. that's what I've been doing. Right. I want to ask you something I ask everybody who I bring back. It might be a little different since you in the chair, but have you caught any, you know, over-the-shoulder looks, anybody in your DM because anything you might have said? Nah, I, I'm, I'm pretty, when it come down to like the interviews and speaking my mm. mind doing what I do, I'm, I'm seasoned with this shit, so I don't really, <laughs> it ain't easy to trip me up, you know? <laughs> uh, I kind of want to start in it real quick and kind of get it going with All you right. both. Let's go. 1K homicides in Cook County. What's that about? Well, what is that? Because I hear uh, 1K, I hear 1,000, and I just can't believe it. That's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot, man. It's no structure, man. No guidance. You know what I'm saying? And these shorties, they they, they looking up to the to, to the killers, and, and they ain't, ain't no repercussions behind the action. You know what I'm saying? So they able to just do what the fuck they want to do. A lot of the OGs scared to, to talk to them, but... You whoop one of their ass, they're going to get their gun. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, motherfuckers like, you know what? Fuck it, let them kill themselves off. Mm. That's it. You can't put no, so the OGs ain't really got a voice, you saying? Nah, they, they'll tell you. Like, the shorties will tell you. Ain't no old nigga t can tell me shit. Like, they'll tell you this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and and that's for really like the, I'm going to say a large part of, of Chicago or the city. But like the shorties where, where I'm at, they, they respect authority. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Even though they're going to do what they do, but I can sit down and talk to them and they're going to listen. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's really all about the person who who giving the advice as, as well. Like you got to be the message that you bring. Mm -hmm. uh, Trey, you do a lot of the music that a lot of the young people listen to. You know, you find yourself in any awkward positions because of any video songs you might have did? Uh, maybe like two. But not, not really. Like, I don't really dish that type of energy out. Mm -hmm. You know, so, uh, shit, I'm more, you know, I'm, I'm from where I'm from, but, like, I'm like a universal guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, mm -hmm. I really don't dish that type of energy out. I like men around, you know what I'm saying? Guys of both caliber, you know, or, you know what I'm saying? Because I know, like, what they tolerate, mm -hmm. who they run with, what they, you know what I'm saying? They not... You know, it's not a fuck shit in they circle, so that's not tolerated, so, you know what I'm saying? In the field, who lose their life in the field, just like when I was in the field, mm -hmm. I knew what came with it. So if I went to jail or I had to do jail time, that come with it. But for the innocent kids and the, 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 the women and the children who didn't sign up for that, they shouldn't be subject to lose their life. Yeah, where did that come from, though? Because I see, I see it's like a, an influx of young people getting hurt now. It's like more young people <laughs> dying than the old people. Well, now you got a lot of the young people doing the, the, the shit. Like, you got a lot of the shorties, the, the shooters, 14, 15, mm. you know what I'm saying, and, and going crazy. So, you know, back then, it, it was it was the older guys. We When I was coming up, we couldn't even be on the block doing school hours. You know what I'm saying? Right. They, they, they'll beat our ass, or we couldn't hustle. We couldn't be out on the block at all doing school hours. They made us go to school. We knew that if we did certain shit in the hood, we were going to be violated. It was going to be some type of consequences behind the actions that we chose. Now, there ain't no consequences, man. These shorties ain't going to school. They not, they not under no laws, no rules. The parents man. ain't kicking their ass. None of that shit. So what, what, what you expect? It ain't gonna get, it ain't gonna get no better until some change. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, Bo, it seemed like the streets respect you. Um, 
it seemed like, you know, you got a lot of credibility. It seemed like you be having the goons with you, too. You know, you seem like you're doing good in life. You don't seem broke, seem like you got it bad. Um, why do you even get a youngster's advice? Because I, I, I feel like it's my obligation to help try and fix up some of the same streets we tore down. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like, like a lot of shit that's going on, I don't give a fuck where you go. For my fans saying, I'm still good. And I don't do no banging, but I can go on 43rd and Wabash. I can go on 41st and Princeton with Ebo on them. I can go over east with the Mafias. I can go out west. Wherever Mafia and Sane is, I made my, my mark to where I'm respected by the king, by by the king, by the prince, by every motherfucker because they knew what I stood for. I never got high. I never drank. I was all about the business. And we was going from state to state, city to city, each side of town putting in work under under the name. So I, I think that, you know, I still move, right? Like, I ain't no fool. Like, when people be like, yeah, bro, he run the city here. I don't run Chicago. Right. I let any motherfucker know. I'm, re I'm respected in certain areas because I carry myself as such. And I also bring something to the table. I bring resources. Like, I help the shorties. I wouldn't give a fuck what it is. When they trying to do the music, when Dirk and Keith and them first was coming up, I was fucking with them. Duck was they out. I was fucking with Duck at the same time when niggas wasn't fucking with Duck. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I'm I'm too old and I have been through too much to let myself fall off into a war with niggas my son age. Like, I, I'm just not, I ain't built like that. But I'm going to move right. Like, I ain't no fool. I know a nigga will try it and I know it's still some haters even in the circles of some of the people that respect me. I know it's, I catch certain niggas sitting back and they, they, Got looks on their face. I ain't no fool. But so you I'm going to have that heat around. Yeah, you're going yeah, to see that. You're going to see that. You're going to see that. You gonna see that everywhere. But I'm going to have my niggas. They're going to be the eyes behind my head. And they're going to be. They gonna clutch too. So it's going to be a Mexican standoff. But we come We come palms up. We come in peace. Yeah, you know, I got a tough question I want to ask you. Bro, I kind of finna put you on the spot now. But I got something I want to ask you. And I'm going to ask you without being policey. But I do want to ask you. Uh... 800 Lil Fats arrested this year. 800 Lil Twan arrested. Rapper E Day lost his life due to gun violence, along with like Kevo, who lost his life due to gun violence. Five people in O Block accused of like a Rico case and something to do with Duck case, allegedly. Is Drill Rap the problem? Because there's been a lot of things happening in the Drill culture this year. Yeah, but. But see, this is the thing. I can't say drill rap is the problem because we had that type of rap. I think, you know what? I'm going to say social media is, is a bigger problem than the drill rap. Okay. Social media is where people, they, they, they living in a in a fairy tale world. Like, with 800 Fats, like, I fuck with Boss Move. Like, I got messages right here. I can pull up where he, big bro, listen, like, he respected me. So, I fuck with him. I fuck with Snake. I fuck with... E Day was my man. E Day, before he was with Leoski and them, he was. I got messages with him. I went. He wanted me to do some management with him. I respected him, man. I respected all them shorties. Like, I respected them, but I can't say the drill rap is the. I think the social media elevated it, and 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 the and the blog sites is a big, a, a major part of the of the violence because what they do. They have platforms that, that millions of people tune into, and we put shine on these certain uh, uh, clicks and, and certain dramas and certain beefs. So when 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 the opposition's here, they ops talking bad about them. The other they sitting back watching all these whole ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? And it just it, it, it fuels the fire. You know what I'm saying? So I think social media, a lot of the blog sites. And you know, I and I ain't just saying like you. It's a lot of people. Right. It's a lot of everywhere you go. You'll see it on everybody. Well, I, get, I get exactly what you're saying. You see. know what I'm saying? And and that's one of the why why I try and attack a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? To, because I I understand like life is more important than a view. Or you know what I'm saying? Because uh, like, like with the two, uh, that was deep. You know more than a view. Yeah, because uh. I look at it like. 
if I had a platform, I wouldn't want to es- be the cause or the reason to escalate no beef. That's why anybody in my camp, and I told him before he came, I said, listen, if you're talking about dead niggas or you're talking about the ops and all that, that can't be tolerated. Then this ain't the team for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I try and be the, the message that I that I preach because their life is more important. They got families. They got kids. They got mamas who love them. They got, when you die, the problems for your family just began. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you gone. That but now is. your family got to deal with that hurt and that pain and your kids got to grow up uh-huh. without a father leaving the streets to raise them. You know what I'm saying? And, and what we want to do is make sure that our seeds and our the people that, that we take care of, we want to make sure that they're well taken care of. But you dead, you already know what's going to happen. Yeah. Baby mama going to find a nigga out in the streets who don't give a fuck about your seed like you, so he don't give a fuck what he doing. So before long, he he heard about what his daddy doing. He want to follow in the same footsteps and, and, and try and be his daddy. And before you know it, he in jail for life or dead. You know what I'm saying? You know, um... I want to stick to that blog thing you just said. I got something I want to talk about about blogs. Um, it seems like you can go to every neighborhood, Bo. I've been seeing you in all neighborhoods. Hell, I even seen you in the King's neighborhood, and everybody ain't allowed over there, okay? <laughs> Since I've been doing these interviews, I've been speaking with a lot of people from all communities, right? Right. And I realized that any and everybody can't do that, you know? Right. You got to be like really stamped to be able to be friendly with everybody. Because it's like every time I cut on the internet, I see it's a problem with one of my interviews. See, your interview, I'm going to tell you. And I called you on this before when you was you doing did? the what? I'm like, bro, I always gave Zach and them uh, uh, my opinion on things. And because...